Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is all about hair oils. And I honestly can't believe that I have not filmed a video like this before because it is so difficult if you have fine hair to find hair oils that are not only nourishing, give you shine, but are also very lightweight. And today I have six hair oils that I absolutely love for fine hair. Um, they can also be used for thicker hair, but if you are someone who is looking for, you guys, something to give you shine and not weigh your hair down. I think you'll love these oils. I'm gonna go from lightest weight to the heavy weight and I'll tell you when I use them, why I use them and all that good stuff. And then I have two alternatives if you're just like absolutely against hair oil. Summertime is coming and if you live anywhere that gets any humidity or heat then your hair frizzes just bottom line and all of these products including the alternatives really help with that so let's get into it the lightest of the hair oils that i have today is one that i've used forever since it's launched i've given it as gifts because i love it so much it's the olaplex number seven bonding oil and i'm really excited because olaplex now has given me a discount code uh, for you guys it's i'm mallory brooke I'll have the information in the info below, so be sure to check that out. I have loved and used their products forever, and actually, my hairstylist who did my hair from middle school to high school, I remember when Olaplex came out, that you would mix it with your bleach to create um, a non-damaging type of bleach, and I told her about it, and she started using it on my hair because I highlighted the crap out of my hair in high school, and it was a miracle. So when they launched actual styling products, I was like the happiest girl alive. Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil also protects your hair up to 450 degrees. They actually DM'd me that on Instagram. I didn't really realize that it you know, was a heat protectant to that degree. I'm gonna take a quick break in today's video to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you are not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online community full of thousands of people that are interested in exploring their creativity and learning new skills, even learning how to pivot in their career. Skillshare is completely ad-free, so you won't have any interruptions when you're trying to learn your new skill or craft. And new premium classes are launched each week. I personally have always been interested in joining Skillshare because I need to always learn new things about my own career, my own industry, and it is the perfect place for me to deep dive into certain points that I may have not learned just by being in my own industry. But because of that very reason, I have been taking this really awesome class by Marquez Brownlee. Class is YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. And he really helps you stoke the fire of continued creativity and motivation to keep going and keep creating new content that's interesting to your audience. The lessons he has are planning a video, shooting compelling content, and how to grow your channel strategically and organically. If you are interested in joining Skillshare, the first thousand people that click my link will get a month free trial. Skillshare is an incredible way to fill your free time with things that you wanna learn and create and progress your career. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's get back into talking about some hair oils, but I knew it was a heat protectant. I like to use this on dry hair. I like to use this on wet hair before I dry my hair. So I will apply whatever blow dry cream, styling cream, whatever. And then at the very end, this is the last layer that I add to my hair. And then after I style my hair, I will apply this oil to my ends. I haven't had a haircut since last October, so I'm in need of a trim. So I'll show you, um, we've got a little frizz going on and I just wanna show you how lightweight this oil is. So it's got like this, that's my hair because I have hair and I use it on my hair. It's got like a dropper. So it's really hard to get too much. And even if you do, it's okay. So I will warm it up in my hands, use about that much. And you can see The difference look and you don't feel this in your hair whatsoever and it smells nice it's got the classic kind of high-end sweet um, Olaplex scent you can actually 
and I will do this too, reapply throughout the day and it doesn't build up, it doesn't get oily in your hair. It really helps seal like split ins, frizz, helps seal that cuticle and keep it safe until your next trim, heat styling, all that good stuff. So love Olaplex number seven. Next is a little bit, if you could do like a 0.5 degree in the scale of weight when it comes to hair oils, this would be 0.5 degrees heavier than the Olaplex number seven. Before Olaplex number seven came out, this was the lightest oil, in my opinion, on the market that never weighed my hair down, gave me shine, added a little bit of um, nourishment to my hair. It is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. Okay, you guys know that I love the primer. I will not be without it ever, ever, ever. This is also an oil I will not be <laughs> without forever and ever. It smells like the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer. So if you are familiar with that smell, it's just a very uh, light hair styling type of scent. But this oil, it says it softens, silkens, tames, defrizzes, detangles, and protects against heat and UV damage. So just like the Olaplex, you can use this before you heat style in damp hair and go ahead and heat style and it will protect your hair. You can also apply this before you go to the beach or the pool. It will help protect your hair from UV rays because UV rays aren't just damaging to our skin, they're damaging to our eyes, our nails, our hair, all of it. It does help protect against UV rays. This is a little bit heavier than the Olaplex number seven. Olaplex kind of just disappears. This you can feel a little bit in your hands after you apply it and this is I'll show you this is one pump here and this is the viscosity see that you saw the how the Olaplex ran pretty quickly and one pump of this it's almost to the bottom of my hand when you blend this out you can see a little more product than you can the Olaplex number seven it just smells like a good hair day to me. Third hair oil I'm gonna talk about is new to me and it's slightly new on the market. If you are familiar with Jonathan Van Ness, then you know that he has beautiful, gorgeous, long flowing locks and he launched a hair product line and this is one of the items that I fell in love with. It is the uh, JVN Complete Nourishing Shine Drops. Now, here's the thing about these, okay? This is only for dry hair, and I think that that's interesting, which is nice, you know? I mean, I'm sure it would be fine if you applied it to your damp hair, but I don't think that you're gonna get the effects, the, the, the nourishment, the application, the way it penetrates the shaft of the hair. You're not gonna get the best advantage if you apply it wet, is my guess. It says apply to dry hair. It's uh, silky, instantly adds incredible gloss without adding weight. I would say that this is not heavier than the Bumble and Bumble. It's about the same, okay? But once it goes in your hair, it does add incredible shine. I feel like this oil not only, you know, nourish your, nourishes your hair, but it really does add a lot of shine. I feel like that's its like shining moment is the shine it gives you. The rest of these hair oils are, I feel like are more about nourishment, heat protecting and all that stuff. But if you're looking for an oil that just gives you straight shine, this is the one for you. It's also great for curly hair as well. Bottle is glass and you get a glass dropper. And as you can see, it's pretty watery, but it is definitely, I'll show you the viscosity. I feel like it's important when it comes to hair oil. This is almost like a water, even though it is just as heavy as the Bumble and Bumble. Do this with your hands. I hate the sound of like hands together. As you can see, it really kind of, uh, disappears into the skin but adds shine and it looks lightweight. So if you're looking for something to just add shine and nourishment, the JVN Complete Oil, I think that you'll love it. So since we're talking about JVN, let's talk about the two alternatives. If you are not a hair oil person, I highly recommend a good leave-in air dry cream. This is specifically for the summer days where you're not going to heat style. JVN has a complete air dry cream that's really, really incredible. It comes in a metal tube so you can roll it and use one of those rollers and squeeze out the, hey guys, squeeze out the product. You can use this on damp hair to let it air dry or you can use this with a diffuser and enhance your natural waves and texture. If you have curly hair, it will enhance your curls. It smells so good. It smells just like the complete oil, which smells a lot like a high end, like you just got your hair blown out and whatever they use, it smells like a salon. So this is how thick that cream is, okay? And 
I really like the fact it kind of creates almost like a shell if you use it as an air dry cream. It kind of creates a shell as it dries and then as your hair is like completely dry, this air dry cream will kind of disappear into the hair and just add a lot of weightless shine and movement and it really does enhance. It smells so good. It really does enhance your natural texture really, really nice. I'm in love with the packaging. I like the fact that they did a metal tube to where you can use one of those rollers and get the very last product out because the next product I'm gonna talk about, I've purchased so many of these. I will cut the top and use the very last bit of it. So this is genius for something like this. I, I absolutely love it. Silicone free, sulfate free, color safe, and vegan, so. There's that, so if you're not a hair oil person, say you have even thinner, finer hair than I do, and it's just not an option for summertime or anything like that, a good air dry cream will be a good fit for you. It's a little bit lighter and still gives you shine and texture. So the next alternative I'm gonna talk about is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine Hairstyle Lure. They have one for thick hair. This is the one for fine to medium hair. This is to be used just when you air dry your hair. The JVN Complete Air Dry Cream can be used with a diffuser or a blow dryer. This really is for the days you don't touch your hair and you let it air dry. That was thunder. The weather said it was gonna storm today and it has not yet, and I guess it's time. I love both of these because they prevent frizz, add shine and texture. This is lighter than this, so once your hair is completely dry after it's air dried, you don't feel this in your hair whatsoever. Your hair feels just absolutely like you have no product in it. This feels like you have a little bit of a texture product in your hair. The next oil is quite a bit heavier than these first three. Keep this in mind. I really love this oil. I purchased this the last Sephora sale. It's the Crown Affair hair oil, the oil. And I purchased this with the comb that you're supposed to use with it. And I actually returned the comb. I didn't like the comb, <laughs> which I feel bad because I've given that get that comb as gifts and I've heard like good feedback, but it just wasn't for me at all. I have better combs that are just not as expensive. But the hair oil, I absolutely loved. It's just called The Oil. It is so lovely. It's wonderful for applying to wet hair and just very minimally to dry hair. I love this oil for when I'm gonna do like a, like a hair treatment bun. I've done that for years and years and years where you just do a slick bun and have like either a hair mask in your hair or a hair oil, something like um, Olaplex number no. three, which you can't add heat to, is wonderful for that type of thing. But this oil is lightweight enough to, you know, create an updo where you're not like, your hair looks like you have a mask in it, but it gives shine and it does have a lot of good nourishing factors. Glass bottle, a glass dropper, and this is the viscosity of it. As you can see, it is the slowest turtle in the race here. It's quite a bit thicker, but it's still wonderful for finer, thinner hair. And it does smell so nice. It smells kind of like, like a fragrance you'd want to wear, but not too strong. None of these are too strong, by the way, because I don't like strong fragranced things. They give me headaches. Uh, they can make me nauseous. So just so you know, if you're a person where fragrance really affects you, it affects me too, and these are just very light and lovely. The oil is really great. I would say this is kind of like a ritualistic type oil. That's how they promote it, you know? Put it in your hair, you're treating yourself, use your comb, whatever. Just use your favorite comb. Maybe your favorite comb, comb it through your hair, do a nice little treatment bun and go on about your way. You will see a difference in the health of your hair, the shine and all that kind of stuff with this. Don't recommend this as a, like an all over shine oil whatsoever. It will be too heavy if you have fine hair. I could see this being like an Olaplex number seven for someone that has thicker, fuller hair, um, maybe even uh, like the actual shaft of the hair is thicker. Keep that in mind as well if you have thicker hair than I do. The next hair oil is probably, I would say on my scale, a 0.5 difference in the hair oil weight. And that is the Playa Ritual Hair, oh, it's funny I used that uh, terminology just a second ago, the Playa Ritual Hair Oil. This smells like nothing. Well, it kind of has a, it has an oil smell. It almost smells like a cooking oil and that sounds bad, but once it goes in the hair, you really don't smell it. It says it imparts weightless shine and polish. If you have denser hair, like a thicker hair shaft, this would be 
probably that for you. For finer hair, I really only like to use this as a treatment. I will not apply this to my dry hair expecting it to give, you know, to give my style a weightless shine. This is like put it in a bun, put this in your wet hair if you're not going anywhere, comb it through, really massage it into the scalp, and it kind of just nourishes everything. But Playa makes wonderful hair products, and I feel like not enough uh, people talk about Playa, which maybe I should, because their hair products are really, really nice, especially their scalp scrub. If you're looking for a good scalp scrub that actually does something, the Playa one does something. This is how it, the, I believe this is the mini version. Smooth one pump throughout damp or dry hair. If I did that, girl, mm, I, it would just be not a uh, weightless day anyway. Glass bottle, glass little dropper. As you can see, this actually has a color to it. And this one runs pretty quickly. Probably faster than the old Plex actually. But once you start feeling the oil, my hands are gonna be so moisturized. Once you start feeling the oil, see how that doesn't disappear into the skin? It takes a while for it to penetrate the hair. So that also lets you know that this is not gonna be your shine oil if you have finer hair. But it is really nourishing and it's wonderful for treatment days and things like that and like in place of a hair mask. The last hair oil is something that I use when I wear my natural curls because my hair is naturally curly and I have found a new system that I absolutely love. It's the Kerastase Curl Manifesto system. And this hair oil, there is something about it that is just perfection for curly hair. It is the Kerastase Curl Manifesto uh, Sublime Repair Manuka Honey and Ceramide Oil. Now this is a scalp and hair oil. I like using this with whole system or alone if I'm using a different system because this is, it says here, nourishing multi-use scalp and hair oil treatment for very curly and coily hair. And it is a leave-in. If you really need like some nourishment to your scalp, you can actually pump this right onto your scalp and it does give your scalp a really nice uh, moisturized feel. It feels like it's nourishing from root to end of your hair. This is also wonderful if you just apply it in your hands and then kind of scrunch it into your curls. Show you the scarcity of this baby. There's that. It runs pretty quickly, but look at this. Do you see? <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. This is a heavy, heavy oil, and it really is meant for, it actually just removed that eyeliner swatch. Um, this is really meant for scalp and hair and thick, uh, dense, curly hair, but it also works really well for finer curly hair. And the scent is just so lovely. It's kind of like powdery and musky in like the best way possible. And the whole line smells like that, which is nice. I love when brands do lines and the whole line smells the same. So your hair, if you're using a certain line of product, you're gonna get that scent. You're not gonna get competing scents that give you a headache. Check this out. I could literally, I'm gonna have to use this as like moisturizer because I am gonna get this all in my hair and it'll be oil city. So those are my top, I guess, six oils from lightest weight to heaviest weight, their uses, their purposes, and my two favorite alternatives to a hair oil. If hair oil is just absolutely out of the question for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Let us know in the comments below if you have used any of these oils or if you love a certain brand, certain oil for your type of hair. It's really helpful when you leave comments like that for everyone and it just makes it like shopping really nice and easy. And the wind's picking up. I think we're gonna get a storm. Happy almost summertime. Perfect time to start using hair oils if you haven't tried them before. It's really a great step in your hair care system that really just needs to be there. Okay, I'm done preaching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Wanna watch more? Click here or here. And don't forget to subscribe for even more so you don't miss anything at all from me. Let's be friends. All right.